the occasion of preparing for a wedding, I always ask the couple, give me some indications of that kind of relationship you want to have uh, that make you unique. They came up with three things that they want to always maintain in their relationship. The first, interestingly enough, is they want to have laughter. They want to be able to enjoy life together, even with its ups and downs, and not get everything too serious. So keep levity in their relationship. The second is understanding. Try to always walk in the feet of their partner to try to understand how they are feeling at every time, at every moment in their life together. And the third is working as a team. Communications. Always communicating. Never being afraid not to communicate. So today, we celebrate their unique relationship. And we know that the God who destined them to come together will be very much a part of your marriage. I think it's really hard to really understand when um, when your daughter's born, just how amazing that whole process is. I've been blessed with two wonderful children, Connor and Alex, but I think when you really, in my case, when you think about it, there's really, there's no way to really measure the love that you have for your daughter from the father. <laughs> everything that Alex has ever done in her life. Um, she's not just done it just to do it. She has an unbelievable ability to tackle that task and to really take it almost to the next level. She's really never just happy doing it just the right way. Let's talk about Michael for a minute. I was I was I was just talking to Dave Trashy in the back, and uh, you know Dave Trashy and uh, and Michael worked together at Merchantville Country Club quite a few years, and um, I remember walking into the pro shop, and I saw this young guy in there, and I'm like, I tell you, this this kid's got something, man. He's he's got energy. He's out there. He's you know he's got all these little different businesses, and he's working there. He's he's doing his deal with Nike, and I'm thinking, man. Pretty, he's going to really be a really good husband someday. Who would have ever thought that this is exactly what would have happened? I'm Michael. Take you, Alexandria. Take you, Alexandria. To be my wife. To be my wife. I, Alexandria, take to you, Michael. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. <laughs> in sickness and in health. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord, in his goodness, strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Michael Alexandra
closing, I would like to say that I am so proud of you two. The accomplishments you guys have done in the last eight or nine years, not only with just with your education, with your commitment to work, your commitment to yourselves, and then obviously, you know, seeing you guys so much in love is, is obviously, you know, the, the most wonderful thing that, that Jamie and I, and I'm sure Stacy and AD, could ever want for our children. So with that being said, from my heart to you two, congratulations, cheers.